Welcome to Westbridge Hills 22. I am Black at FS and this is our Use for Tunic Challenge. We are back on Westbridge Hills and I just realised something. I've come on. This needs weeding, which I knew would need weeding. Admittedly, I forgot, but I knew it would need doing. I totally forgot to roll it. So, two episodes ago when we were doing this. Yep, yeah, I haven't rolled it. Which means the yield is going to be nowhere. I say nowhere near. It's not going to be as good. So you've got expected yield 111 percent rather than 125 percent, which is rubbish. Um, let's go across here because I just want to see where we at with before we get started today. I just want to go and have a look. See where we're at with these bills. I mean, this says ready to harvest again, but there's another growth stage on here, and I need to get fertiliser on here as well. Um, right, silage. So all uh, them are ready. Which means at some point today, preferably, we'll have to get them... I'm saying that, I could do that. In the next month, that wouldn't be an issue. But the thing we're going to get started with today, we're finally going to get to use this absolute beast over here. So what is it? Something like, is that 620 horsepower? Do you think that's the best tile? Do you think it's going to be 620? Um, 665. I know some, a lot of the time that's why they call that not on this occasion. What we've got is we've went and leased this Kinsey. Um, it's cost us something like twelve thousand seven hundred dollars to do it. Um, however, what it allows us to do is it's something like the widths eighteen meters, something like that. I am. Um, it's also a direct drill. And it allows us to put fertiliser in as well, to go quite wide on here. So, it has cost us a lot of money, however, it's going to save us a lot as well. For a couple of reasons, our direct drill is like 6 metres. It's actually less, how close that? It's less than 3 times the width of this one. Um, I can't remember if it allows us to put fertiliser in or not. But either way, it's going to save us a hell of a lot of time. And the other way I thought about doing it was seeing there's rocks in there. I'd have to pick them up in there if I ever buy that. Um, the other thing I thought about was just buying a massive cultivator and then getting the um, a different planter after that. But it's just it was pointless. The direct drill was just the best option. So I mean, it does cost a lot, but it's also going to save us a lot of money. And given the size of the field as well, we are going to put car uh, corn in it. I don't know what we're going to put in the, the other one. Might be corn as well, I don't know. But we are putting corn in this one. And given the size of the field, we obviously know that we're going to make substantial profit so let's get this opened up that does take a fair while doesn't it is that going out again nope that must be ready that doesn't look huge um, it says 18.2 metres. It doesn't look massive, does it? Right, I'll get it to the end because I just want to. I just want to make sure we're not overlapping. 
I was going to pull that out of the 11 9 hour and be over the moon with that. Right. Corn grown. Fantastic. I mean, that's not bad at all, is it? I didn't. Th I honestly didn't think we'd have something this big. I think this is going to be. This might be episode thirty. Could be twenty nine, but I think it's episode thirty. Um, as I've put three out in a row for Westbridge Hills, just so we can get it back to that um, sort of month by month cycle, like we spoke about with No Man's Land. Something, there's no way I thought we'd have something like this 30 episodes in absolutely crazy not at all anyway I mean Leeson's obviously different and Leeson is so expensive it's unbelievably expensive which I'm find, finding out with the cotton harvest on the cotton harvest I did finish it did take us quite a while even after we finished that video I think I think we ended up with 10 bales I think I can't actually remember I'm just trying to think the way I stacked them I'm sure I stacked them in threes and then there was one on the end as well Get that straight before we get going again. Don't normally do well with articulated tractors. Yeah, so already we know that that cotton's going to make us an absolute killing. In fact, when I. Let's get straight on there. When I checked, it was in after yesterday's video though, but cotton wasn't actually that low. Nah, it's gone down now. Two, three. We can get two foot. Do you know what? It's only down a hundred. I could possibly sell them. I will. Load of cotton, you know. I might go over. What am I? What am I losing? I'm losing about two thousand pound per. Uh, two thousand dollars per bale, Anna. But I'm really tempted to go and do it. For that money, to get sort of a quick hit like that, I'm kind of thinking I'd be daft not to. Right, what I think I'm going to do is... I am going to leave this here. In fact, I might as well put it on a worker. Because the field's absolutely massive. And there's no point in not making a start on it. Like a decent start. Put that on a worker. We're going to nip down to the cow farm, get the telehandler, bring that up. I don't even know if the telehandler will um, pick the bales up or not, but we'll find out. So, I will be back, probably at the farm market. Almost there. Um, it wasn't actually at the cow farm, it was at the main farm. I can't even remember why it was over there, not down the bottom end, but it was there for good reason. I think, in fact, it might have been picking up a couple of them grass bales that were too big to turn into silage. Possibly that. Right, I am not convinced that this is going to work. 
and if it doesn't it's going to mean quite a bit of expense getting a wheel loader hmm Well, when I say it, I'm not convinced it's not going to work. That answers that question really quickly. Right, telehandler tools. I wonder if that'll work, that bail spike. Like that one might be even better. What we'll do, we'll lease that. I'll go and get them changed over and we'll be back down. Right, let's try again. So we now have a bail spike. We can um, yep, lift that up. See if we can get this in here. Still can't. That's really surprising. No, it's not having it. Is there something in cotton technology? Oh, uh, it might not be called cotton technology. Um, yeah, it is. Nothing. So why won't that work? Am I really gonna have to? Go and get the bail trailer again and move them individually. Ooh. Ah. You can move them from the end. Right, why did that work there? Because now it's pushing again. Let's see if we can get that. Was I just doing something wrong? I don't understand. I feel like this should work and it's not. See that actually went in there didn't it? It is going in. That's so annoying. Right, we're just going to have to get the trailer on me. Let's park this up here. And let's go and get the trailer. What do I say about second time lucky? Let's try third. Eh? I mean, this shouldn't. There shouldn't be a problem with this, it'll just take longer, that's all. And I'm not overly sure which side we um, sell them on either. I'm going to guess it's this side. Is that going to sell straight off? Yeah. How much we get for that? 47. Oh, I forgot about the environmental score. That is like 53,000. What's that? 53,000 towards 800. That is nuts. Let's get these sold. 
let's get all of these sold right now because that is more like I said I totally forgot about the environmental score and I've got 10 of these That's so good watching that just go up there. <whistles> so what are we looking at? 530,000. If the price stays the same. Let's get this off. <laughs> I'm loving that. Right, what I'm going to do, I'll get these finished off um, and we'll probably come back for the last one. Well, that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. Um, it done took a few minutes. I must be trying to back into that. Typical, isn't it? It all goes smoothly. As soon as I hit record then I start backing into inanimate objects. Can I... I haven't realised that I can buy herbicide. I assume I can buy herbicide liquid fertiliser. I'd seen the water one. But yeah, didn't realise they were there. I mean, we get liquid fertiliser at uh, our farm anyway. I'll have to check to see if the fertiliser is cheaper. Right, so that's going to take us to 786,000. Let's see. Oh, that's stopped, by the way. Not only is it stopped, but I know. It might still have nitrogen in it. I wonder what it's run out of. Whether it's run out of seed or whether it's run out of liquid fertiliser. Or both, possibly, I don't know. Um. Hmm. Ah, 477,000. There we go. Miscellaneous 61,000. I was going to say we should have got 530 odd grand, but we did. Because there it is down the bottom. Absolutely crazy. I am more than happy with what. What did, what did we pay for this field? Was it like 1. Point summit? Um, 1.3 million. Oh, they're seed. Seed, lime, and fertile. I didn't know they were there either. It's handy to know. Right. Are they new? Have they always been there? Or have they, have they come with the update? Because I can't remember seeing them. Look it up. What I think we will do is, because we're going to have to do one or two things, we're either going to have to bring seed and fertiliser up to the field, or we're going to have to drive the planter back. Which, in fact, we might go down... No, nah, because we've already paid for the seed and fertiliser, so there's no point, is there? What I'll do is, I'll go and get filled up. We'll crack on with this field. Um, and then we'll come back some of the way through but we've, like I said, we still need to get the weeding done in this episode as well so at some point we're going to have to get on with that but no, I'll go and get into the versatile now decide what we're going to do and then I'll get cracking on this absolutely monster of a planting job back on and that has taken pretty much the first half of the day. I mean, to be fair, that isn't that bad, is it? When you consider the size of the field. Um, God, the seed rate is heavy here. Oh my God, look at that. That is absolutely flying down. I wonder what that... 
What bit are we in now? Soil types. I wonder if that was just going through the loamy sand there. Yeah, it's gone back down now. Um, yeah, considering the size of the field, I don't think that's been that bad. The, the fact that we haven't had to cultivate it or plough it as well is great. And I think we won't have to spray this off either. I'm pretty sure that this is going to be... Um, 100% fertilised, well I say 100% fertilised fertilised perfectly I think there's the odd couple of little bits around here that we'll need doing but that's always the case I've had to go back twice I think possibly three times but it might only be twice to fill up it's always the fertiliser I fill up um, with seed as well but yeah, it's the fertiliser that needs topping up. I mean, that goes down pretty rapidly as well. The thing with the fertiliser as well, it doesn't seem to um, act the same way as the seed. Where the seed, obviously if you've planted half of it, it'll, only, it'll go down a little bit slower. The fertiliser doesn't, it just seems to re-fertilise everywhere. Even if, it's, um, even if it's done perfectly. Or to 100%. But, it's not too bad. I'll be interested to see how much corn we actually get off here. And I can't remember the top of my head. I'll have, I'd have to have a look. I'll have a look. The thing I always refer to, which is the, a screenshot on my phone. Which, um, which gives us the growth periods. Is corn an eight month one? I know some of you will just know this off the top of your head. Um, there it is. Corn is. Oh, corn's only six months. Six months? That means I think we'll get it in before. or just as it hits top price. So six months that'll take us, if we say November, because I don't know if it's a full six months and then you harvest it, uh, but if we say November, that's seven months away, and the highest is in December, or now, uh, oh no, it's not now, June. Yeah, so December, brilliant, we might have to start for a month, which I don't mind at all, but I mean, sometimes, the month before, can be just as high, can't it? So if it'll save a load of transporting, and it is just as high at the time, we'll just get rid of it on the day. I would have thought, I mean, we don't have the biggest setup to move grain about, do we? We've got our new truck, but I don't think that it's not massive. Although you can, I think, pull a trailer on the back of it. So we might have to get some sort of grain cart or something on the back and um, and have that, I think. We'll try it out. We'll figure it out once we, uh, once we get to that. We're still a long way off yet. Right, I'll just do this bit over here and then I'll go and do them two bits in the middle. And I think... Yeah, that'll be us done once we've done that middle section. It's not even showing anything over here now. Nope. Right, let's go and get that bit in the middle. It's gone off like the little white dot that was on there is gone. I've been quite impressed with this tractor to be honest. It hasn't felt as difficult to use as what some of the other articulated ones have. It hasn't felt as clunky, like doesn't... One of the other ones... Which one is it? There's an articulated one that you used to get all the time on Elm Creek and Bellaron, And it was just awful to use. Dead stop starty. Um, 
can't remember what chapter it is. But this hasn't been like that at all. This has been great. A couple of bits of blur as well. Again, they're not showing up. They're not even showing up on there, to be honest. Right. Let's put this... In fact, I might as well take it back to fill up mine now. Let's, um, I'll take this back. We will grab a, we're going to need a roller, aren't we? We're going to need a roller for this field and we're going to need a weeder for the other field. Um... What should we do? I'm not going to show doing both. I don't know. We'll go and get the setups done. We'll have to hire. We'll have to hire both, actually. I haven't got a weeder. I haven't got a, a roller. So, yeah. We'll have to hire both. Um, we'll decide what tractors we want them on and we'll come back. We've got ourselves arranged. So, basically, what we've done is... We've got, on the Versatile, we've got that huge base game roller. It's like 24 metres, it might even be 24 point something metres long. That is currently, I've done a headland on it. Um, that is currently now on a worker. Um, on the class, we've got this um, mechanical weeder. The reason I've gone for this is I haven't actually used it in I don't think I've used this one in 22 yet it was one of the we didn't have loads of weeders did we in 19 but I think this was the the base game one just make sure that this is working so you can see I mean it's leave <laughs> there's always that bit if you look here there's always that bit where it just doesn't register and I don't know why I always have to go back and do whatever myself um, right. Is this working? It doesn't appear that it is. No, 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 no. Right. Get back down. Is all that going to disappear? Hey, right. it is working. It's just not. Sh Why is it not showing up on there? That's really weird. Have I got something else on? Cause you can see the lighter green stuff's gone, but it's like there's a a darker green thing underneath. Am I not going to be at a clear roll? Oh. Have I picked the wrong bit of equipment? I have, haven't I? Is this only going to get... Ah, oh, this is only going to get... Um, one load out, isn't it? Oh, I can't be doing with that. Right, there's me for not reading the context. I just thought that that would do it all, but it's since that um, we change, isn't it? Where it goes straight to medium and doesn't flame and start small. Well, there's two thousand two hundred dollars down the drain straight away. By the way, the the roller was um, seven thousand, something like seven thousand four hundred or something like that for the roller. I can't believe I've done that with a weeder. That'll be the reason why we never use this one. <laughs> We've never used this one in 22. Because it doesn't work.
Right. Yeah, first growth stage. Brilliant. Um I wouldn't care, it's quite big as well, which is why I was using it. Right, so that one, 9 metres, oh, not the 15 metres that that is. Right, let's just get this. 2,600. I mean, it's a good job we've made an absolute fortune today. I could have maybe done with the weight on the front of it. It felt a bit light when I was going down there. They do look nice, the class, don't they? Right, now this isn't going to be anywhere near as big as what the other one was. There we go. It's working properly now. I was just going to go for the spot sprayer, but... Um, I don't know, I th just, we've used the spot sprayer the last couple of times, haven't we? And to be honest, I'll probably use the spot sprayer again on the, um, on the big fields. Unless I can convert our sprayer. I wonder if our self-propelled sprayer, you can get them, um, the things that go on the wing mirrors that make it that make it a spot sprayer. I wonder if you can do it on that. I haven't thought to look. Right, let's get down there just so we can make sure we're hitting the line properly. For those I can't remember, or I think I don't know if it was the it wasn't the last episode, it was the episode before. It's barley in here. Um barley simply to feed our chickens and keep the um the grain mill going. Cause we sold off all hours, if you remember. It was a few good few episodes ago now. We had quite a lot of barley, I think we had canola. There was something else as well that I can't remember. Sorghum, possibly. And we sold it all off. Which left us a little bit short. I feel like we may have gone back to farming on too small of a scale with this. Even though it's only our um it's only our small field. It's still not small, is it? That's the issue. I could extend it to be fair. There's loads of space down here to extend it. I actually I don't actually do anything with this bit. Might be something I have to look at for the next um, the next time I harvest, because that would add quite a bit on, wouldn't it? I mean, I'd keep the trees. I wouldn't go all the way up to the trees, but I think it's got some merits in it. See what's going on down in there. You can't see because the uh, 
because of the barley. You can, however, see that it is working, although I could do with going around the top again. Hopefully this will just power up. It shouldn't um it shouldn't struggle going up here, I wouldn't have thought. Actually our ridgy track used to, didn't it? Ridgy track, as soon as it hit this part of the field, it would uh it would really start to struggle and labour. But no, nah, this is just going straight up, isn't it? Brilliant. Love that. Right, um, I have a feeling that the video is already starting, even though there's been a lot of sort of jumping around, it's probably already starting to get on a little bit, so we'll do some of this off camera. When we come back I will probably go over to the rolling um, and end from there. Depends what gets done first I suppose. I mean that roller we're using is absolutely huge, so that might not take very long at all. Um, where is this? Obviously it's a smaller field but a lot smaller piece of equipment as well. So, um, let's jump straight towards the end. We're going to end with something that I completely forgot about. Um, we've got six pallets of fabric up at our spinnery. I think might have even said in March that we are going to go and sell it because the price was good then but the price is actually at its peak now so we're going to go up there um, we're going to drop this wool off and then we'll go and uh, we'll go and take them pallets so we've got pallets of fabric um, we've got 17,800 litres well and one litres of um, wool I think that this will last quite a while, so the next load of wool that we create will probably just go and sell to be honest. Um it's gonna be it's gonna take ages to get through all this. And fabric's not overly quick as well as it we know that. A fabric and clothes can take quite a long time, so Yeah, um I think this will be the last lot delivered for a while. But the fabric itself I'm going to get something like 7,000 per 1,000 litres. I'm assuming that each pallet is 1,000 litres. I'm pretty sure it is. Right, there it is there, that green building. And there's all our pallets. Right. The, when I did this before, the trigger was a bit funny, wasn't it? But not this time, it's going in alright. Oh, the right side is. I think I'm too far over to the right. Let's try and make this a bit tighter. Straighten up a bit. Gonna start taking all of it. Yeah. Right. So how much is that put in? I think the front door's around here. It is. Right, 25,000 litres we've got. It's going to be ages until we get through all that. I'm not going to need that for ages. Um, we've stopped producing flour. We've still got 13,000 litres, so that's not that bad. Uh, we need to actually wait, don't we? We can't produce any more flour until our barley field is harvested, so... That's a bit of an issue, but it shouldn't affect us too much. Right, yes, 1,000 litres. Right, 
so we need to go to the grocery mart, which is somewhere in the town centre, isn't it? Uh, um, ah, spot on. Right, that's where we need to go. So it's right next to the petrol station. I know where that is. So 7,000 for each one. Do you know what? I'm probably quicker going this way, actually. Doesn't look like there's much there, does it? But make yeah, us a decent amount of money as is this field on the left hand side once we get into May there's going to be a bit of a gap though but as soon as um, when this episode's finished we'll be back on no man's land the day after in fact if I can if I'm quick I might even be able to get some no man's land recorded which would be nice The versatile's still rolling away on this field. It might be it. There you can see it. See it there, just driving away from us. And you can see how big that roller is as well. It's absolutely crazy. Harvester on lease. Um, that's ready for the next in-game month. So that will cost us another five grand in overnight fees, and then it'll be back to hourly again. We'll have to get the cotton done the first part of uh, May, just so we're not paying extra on on the lease of that. Plus, we've got the roller leased, we've got the direct drill leased. Um, we won't be using that weeder, we'll be using a spot sprayer, I would have thought. So they're, they're, them fields are just too big for that little mechanical weeder. The the roller I'm just going to let finish on so now, as soon as... Um, as soon as we've got these sold, that's going to be the end of the video. Like I said, even though I've been jumping from sort of section to section, trying to get through um, everything we've got to do with deer, I still think it's probably going to be quite long. And we still we didn't manage to get the the bales up and the grass cut either. So I think the next time we um, where's the cell point here? I wonder if it's in there or if it's around the back. I don't want to go on here if it's not. Yeah, I was going to say we might suffer with this um, with our grass next time around. It's not even going to be there, is it? Right. Now cars are just piling out the fuel station, brilliant. Now that side must be around the back. I think it's the first time I've sold to here. God, there's lots of people coming out there, isn't there? That it in the far corner. I like this the way it's um, it's got loads of cars parked in here and there's a car going round. Are we in here? Yes, we are. So we have made 42, 47, 47 and a half grand of our fabric. I don't mind that at all. Um, again, I know we had to pay for the spinnery, but we're paying next to nothing to keep them sheep. Um, 
a bit of grass work here and there and we to be fair we've already done it we could keep them sheep fed for months and months and months probably a couple of years to be honest with what we've already got cut but as I'm starting to yawn I know that's a good time to finish so when we come back we will get I tell you what we also need to do in the next month actually our cows I think are going to be ready to sell off if we are selling them at the 10 month mark which is what I was looking at then that's in there so lots to do in the next month as well so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one